It's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? This is Orange Juice. The Electro Wizard Challenge is a special challenge that will run for three days. The first entry is going to be free. It's not going to cost any gems to enter. When you're done the first challenge, every entry after that will cost 100 gems. The rewards are the same as a regular grand challenge, with one key difference in payout. At 12 wins, you can win an Electro Wizard. Reaching 12 wins guarantees that the chest will contain one Electro Wizard. You can participate in as many of these challenges as you want and try to reach as many 12 wins as you can to farm Electro Wizards. This sounds crazy broken, but statistically speaking, about 0.6% of entries will reach 12 wins. Think about it this way, every match you play, there is a loser. For every entry, only 1 in 200 of these entrants will reach 12 wins. If you consistently reach 12 wins, you should consider competing in the next big tournament. Now for the actual challenge itself, as soon as you enter into the challenge, you're required to make a deck with the Electro Wizard in there. If you pick the wrong card, you can change it at any time. There is no time limit, so take your time. You will have access to all of the cards in the game, even cards you do not own. Not only do you have access to all of these cards, but these cards will be brought up to tournament standard for a truly equal playing field. If you ever want to change your deck during the challenge, at any time, you can go back and modify it. Also, you have three deck slots, so you can change it up a bit whenever you feel like it. You're able to switch decks in between your matches, and you can modify these decks at any time. All of your opponents will be running an Electro Wizard deck. It might be a good idea to run Fireball since it kills Electro Wizard. This challenge is insane value if you can reach 12 wins. It's like a regular grand challenge, plus you can get an Electro Wizard at 12 wins. It is possible to get a Legendary and an Electro Wizard, so you would double up on the Legendaries in one chest. Even if you don't reach 12 wins, it's like you're playing a regular grand challenge, because the rewards are the same. Once you open the 12 win chest, you unlock the Electro Wizard permanently. Despite him not officially releasing in the game yet, this means once you obtain him in the grand challenge, there is a possibility you can pull him from any other chest. Free, silver, gold, magical, super magical, or even a legendary. Even before he's officially released in the game, you can use him on ladder once you've unlocked him in the challenge. Once you've played the Electro Wizard challenge, it won't ask you to pick another deck. The game will remember what your last deck saved was. You can still change it at any time. Supercell has been looking for ways to make new legendaries easier to obtain. They'll be closely monitoring this challenge to see how it impacts the game. And if it looks promising, we can be sure to look forward to more of these types of legendary challenges in the future. Possibly with some tweaks here and there. Let's talk probability. A legendary arena super magical chest usually gives about 6% more chance to obtain a legendary every time a new legendary card is introduced into the game. This means a legendary arena super magical chest odd is increasing from 57% to 63% to pull a legendary. To break down what this really means, it's a 6% chance to obtain each legendary. That means if you open 17 super magical chests, you will get on average 10 legendaries. And if you're lucky, you might pull one electro wizard. I think this feature is very incredible on many levels. It helps stimulate the card economy, making it easier to obtain for more hardcore players without the need to spend lots of money. And it gives players the ability to obtain this card much earlier. I think this will help accelerate the meta much faster. Take the log or the miner for example. Both cards were not used very often when they first came out. Mostly because the players that did have them didn't really know how to use the cards to the fullest potential. It took months for these cards to be respected. This Electro Wizard is OP, but he's not. He's pretty strong, but he's very easy to counter with a fireball. He's kind of like an Ice Wizard or a Princess. He provides great value as a legendary card, but he's not going to break the game. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.